So this shop is actually two shops. There's a wall down the center. It was at one point a warehouse, um, <laughs> but now it's shops. Uh, this area is our fuel nozzle shop. So for anyone who's in gas turbines, right, fuel nozzles are a critical element of how the gas turbine runs uh, for multiple reasons. One, for emissions, performance, those sorts of things. But the other thing is for lifetime. So although the rotor is turning and mixing up and moving everything around, the nozzles don't move. So if you have one hot nozzle and one cold nozzle for the life of your machine, you're overheating one area of your machine and don't have enough you know, heat in another area. Now you won't necessarily see that when it's all mixed out, right? You, you should see it on your T48 spread, but you, you don't necessarily. So you want your nozzles to be as tight and as close to what you want as possible. So, you know, we have a fully calibrated rig. We have a third party that, uh, that comes and checks it and, um, annually. We run all of our nozzles through this rig. Um, our gentleman, Tim Luby, who runs the shop, has been working on fuel nozzles his whole career and knows more about them, forgotten more about them than I'll ever know. Um, but we have the gas area. We also have a liquid fuel area. We have a, a visualization area. And then we have a pressure test area because if you think of a fuel nozzle where you have water, gas, and liquid in it, you have to make sure that there's no leakage between the paths, right? You don't want any mixing of gas and air <laughs> except in the combustor, right? So that pressurization test is critical. The flow test is critical for liquid, right? The, the um, flow test for gas. You can see a dual fuel nozzle on the stand sitting right there. So we run that. And although the, the standard for the gas fuel nozzle, gas passion in the fuel nozzle is about a 4% variation, we hold our fuel nozzle sets to 2%. And again, that's part of, you know, we have to be better, right? If you're an independent, <laughs> you have to push to go beyond, let's say, what others in the industry do, right? And so that's a critical element to us. Um, we can see the, let's take a quick look. So there's the liquid fuel. You can see the visualization box with the window in it. Um, for a good calibrated eye, you can learn a lot. Um, we've got some DLE nozzles over here. So that's the dry low emissions cups. <clears throat> and then our primary and what we spend mo a lot of our time on is, the, um, is our dual fuel. So this is the dual fuel nozzle. So What's unique about what we do here is we can overhaul dual fuel nozzles. We also overhaul the, the uh, WISPA or, or water injection nozzles, the sprint nozzles. Um, but we also make sprint nozzles new and we make dual fuel nozzles new. So we have the forgings for the main body, we have all the parts and we can construct an entire nozzle. And what you're looking at here is just a simple fixture, but this simple fixture allows you to confirm and check every single position of the interfaces with the engine so that as a, a fixture check, each nozzle can go through this, through this check to ensure that there won't be any interference, won't be any problem fitting it into the, into the engine when it's completed. So it's just an example of a piece of tooling. Um, over here, you can see the, some of the fuel nozzles we, do, uh, nozzles we do work on. So there's a cutaway of the dual fuel nozzle. You can see the complexity of the parts inside the nozzle, um, a number of the small parts that have to be made. And, and here's your, um, your water spray injection nozzle, and then some other nozzles we overhaul. Right now, the only ones we new make are the LM6000 Sprint or WISPA for our system, and then the dual fuel nozzle. And you can see the dual fuel nozzle over here with the small parts. So we've got the body of, the, we've got the main body of the nozzle, and then we have a number of the different spray bars, the, um, the nozzle tip parts that we put together. Uh, there's a series of operations behind the panels. We have some cylindrical welding equipment. That cylindrical welding equipment allows us to do that circular welds, the circular welds around the nozzle. They're so critical to getting the right seal. There's also brazing steps. So it does go over to the uh, arm facility for the vacuum furnace work and so from, from, for some inspection work. But because the work here um, has an, another level of, let's say, of cleanliness and requirement, we have a special shop for it. He has his own, we have our own clean line here, right? Which allows us to, to do specialized cleaning as well as rinsing and drying to make sure that there's no carryover, for example, of any soap into the fuel nozzle passages, right? So all of that happens here as well. Um, a small thing, you know, on, on these tubes, so you have these tubes that run the length of the, of the nozzle, right? And on this tube, you can, might be able to see, I'll have to show it to you closer, you can see the wire around the tube. 
So that wire around the tube creates a gap. It, it's, it's both for fit up and how the tube fits and, and flexes within the passage, but it's also how you get um, flow between the inside and the outside. But that requires you to put a small wire on this. So we have a tiny wire on this. We have a micro tack welding system that allows us to, to wrap that wire and tack it in place onto this tube. So it's just a, you know, a tiny little operation that happens right here behind the screen. So, so this is a, an, another big part of, you know, being a, a gas turbine um, provider and, and service company, the, the ability to offer this capability, right? Both in terms of, of overhauling your nozzle, right? And or supplying brand new ones as well.